federal lawsuit was filed today seeking to halt construction of Honolulu's rail transit project. As KITV4's Daryl Huff reports, opponents say they found powerful new legal ammunition, but the case may have to be heard by a judge from the mainland. The lawsuit filed by a bipartisan group of longtime project critics says the city and federal government failed to follow federal environmental laws. That was expected. But the group's attorneys say they've also found an older law that specifically protects historic sites and parks. If they follow the law, they would have to change. You know, the requirements are that you avoid the historic properties. The city's environmental impact statement does list impacts on many historic sites, but opponents say the rush to build led the city not to do enough to avoid them. The city has taken a ready-aim fire uh, kind of uh, approach, and they've made a lot of mistakes. The lawsuit also poses a potential ethical problem for Hawaii's federal judges. The elevated rail is scheduled to be built right down Halekawila Street, above my head, right in front of the windows at federal court. The city refused a request by several federal judges to change the route. Now one of those judges will be deciding whether the city properly studied the alternatives. The case has been assigned to Judge Leslie Kobayashi, one of the protesting eight judges. If that's considered a conflict of interest, a mainland judge may have to come take the case. But I would love to have somebody that's, that's from here and understands culturally what we're facing. Any judge, wherever she or he uh, is from, uh, has got to be impressed by the strength of this case. If any judge agrees the city didn't follow the law, it could force a rewrite of the impact statement or, opponents hope, send the whole project back to the drawing board. Daryl Huff, KITV 4 News. Now, the city responded to the lawsuit with a written statement this afternoon. City Managing Director Doug Chin says, even though the city hasn't seen the lawsuit, we know of the basic assertions and are prepared to defend against the lawsuit. It also is important to note that the project has gone through an exhaustive and careful environmental review extending over several years. A city spokeswoman said they would not be responding to new questions about the lawsuit.